Hello YouTubers, this is another intercom system related video regarding a comment that someone has sent me that to make a video on my sound speaker speaker, well you got it because I have it set up here now this is not the 120, the 120 amp that I have here, the Toa BG1120 amp or 1120 I have it hooked up to a separate amp just to demonstrate that alone because there's not a lot of videos of these sound sphere speakers other than a bunch of expo videos which they never really fully test that stuff so in terms of music so I got a, a little rig going here I have this cheapo CD player back out with the obviously YouTube YouTube copyright free music on it of course I have the you know the inputs the output going to input 70 volts now this is a sound seer model 1 110a speaker there's a bunch of different models of these now I did get the white version because a it came across it for cheap and B I think it's cool black modes are cool too but those ones are very expensive. Now this line goes to that amp, but it's disconnected. It just runs back to the Telefor speaker up here. But this has got some unusual taps in the back here. You know something unusual about that tap chart? 25 is normal, 70, 70 volts normal, 100 volts is normal, but 50 volts. I don't know if have I don't know if any of you have encountered 50 volt systems. I cannot find anything about 50 volt systems on Google it. So I don't know where Salster got 50 volts from. Here's the here's the sticker right here. Yeah, it says made in the good old USA. And this is really heavy too. It's actually a heavy guy. Came with the supports, so I strapped it onto this here, which this is strapped to truss this back up in the attic. So don't worry, this will not fall. Here's a close look at the driver. Now that is not an eight ohm driver either. This is also this driver here is four ohms by itself. And it looks a whole lot like a stock car speaker. I don't know why. It screams car speaker to me. Maybe that's how they started these. Maybe they used a car speaker and then they just like, I don't know, built this enclosure around it. The enclosure part's actually really heavy. Probably should get back here. Here's that cone shape. I don't think any of you have not seen one of these up close, but that's what the speaker looks like. At least with the 110A. Now there's a store it's a pretty much like a Whole Foods type of store. Farmers slash kind of like a farmer's market type of place called Sprouts. And they have a bunch of these in their stores, in their store over here. They don't have them crazy, crazy loud, but this has bass. I have to tell you that. I have never really heard these. I never heard bass come out of one of these. And then there's a Michaels not too far from my house set. It's always had these but it's the black version and i always remember going to that store as a kid looking at them and like those are so strange and cool looking well i got one here now but the white version so play the song the bass is all the way up on this too That's a lot of bass. Check out that excursion. That's actually really moving around in there. What a bad speaker. This sounds really good on a Toa BG 1060 amp. So that's what one of those sound like by itself with bass turned up. 
change the track gear. Extra cheesy. Probably something like now. Let's see. Here. Now I actually have the trouble low, quite low on this, so, so I'll probably turn the trouble up. That's bass. That's the trouble turned all the way up. Sounds really clear. So yeah, there, there's a video on the, the SoundSphere speaker that, as I said, it was, as I mentioned, it was requested. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.